Surecart makes selling subscriptions or installment plans easy. But there's also some additional options that you might want to add to those subscriptions or installment plans. And I'm talking about maybe offering a free trial or maybe a paid trial, or maybe just adding a setup fee to the beginning of either of those. It's very easy to do. That's what I'm gonna cover right now. So here's a product that we have this instant checkout page set up for. It's an online course, and you can see we have two different prices for it. We have a lifetime price, and we have an installment plan. I've named it payment plan. And off to the right, when you have one of these price selectors, it gives the payment information. So when we add setup fees and free trials and paid trials, it's going to append information here off to the right. So your buyer always knows what they're going to be paying and there's no surprises. So let's go ahead and on this payment plan, first let's go ahead and add a setup fee to it. This is very simple. I'm gonna go back into the product. I'll click on edit product right here. I'll scroll down a bit and here is that payment plan. So I'm gonna expand out the option and then there's a toggle here that says setup fee. So I'm gonna to toggle that on. Now there's only two things you need to enter with the setup fee and that's gonna be a name for the setup fee. This is what's gonna show in the order summary as well as in that price selector. And then the setup fee amount. You could simply put in for a text label setup fee, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And then for my amount, I'm going to enter 50. I'll go ahead and click on save product. And then let's view that instant checkout page again. And when I scroll down, you can see now the price says $85 per month for four months. And then it says $50 setup fee. And it's very clear. So when I choose this, you'll also see over here in the order summary, it says the same. $85 each month for payments and then the $50 setup fee. Keep in mind this text label that says setup fee is what you just entered. So you have the flexibility to make this say anything that you want. For example, you could say do today. It's completely up to you. So now let's add a free trial. I'll go back into editing the product. I'll scroll down here to the payment plan. I'll expand the options again. And now I'm going to toggle on right here where it says free trial and you can choose how long this free trial is. So instead of the 15 days, I'll put seven days. Now you also have an option here to charge the setup fee during the trial. That means you would charge the setup fee immediately. And then at the end of seven days is when the normal payment for this plan would kick into gear. So I'll go ahead and click on save product. And then let's click on view instant checkout. And now you can see an extra line of text has been added. It now says starting in seven days underneath the installment plan details right there. And then you can see under that, it shows the $50 setup fee. So when I click on to this, you can see that that $50 setup fee is being charged at the end of the seven days as well. And that is what I ended up choosing. So in this case, the buyer will just be giving you their payment information and they'll be charged in seven days. Now let's make this so it's a paid trial. So let's go back into editing the product and then I'll go back down to the payment plan. I'll expand the option and you can see right here, I'm going to choose this option here, charge setup fee during the free trial. So it's going to charge this immediately. And I'm going to, instead of having a $50 setup fee, I'll have it be like a dollar trial or something like that. So I'm going to name this different from setup fee because I can name this whatever I want. And I've named it first week trial, or it could have been one week trial. I'll save the product. Let's go ahead and view the instant checkout. Let's go ahead and scroll down and see how it shows. So now it's $85 per month for four months, starting in seven days and a $1 first week trial. You can make that say whatever you want. And when I click on it, you can see the price being charged right here is $1. Let's expand this. And here is those details again. So the buyer always knows what they're going to be paying for. Now there's so many ways that you can get the most out of adding these features to your subscriptions and installment plans. 
you can just give a free trial if you like. I prefer a $1 trial. That way I can know who's a buyer and who's not a buyer because someone that is a buyer is gonna have no problem paying a dollar to try it out for a week. This works amazing with software. And if you're in a service-based type of business, maybe you're a web agency and you set up websites for people and there's a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning of the project, well, charge a setup fee so you can collect more of that money up front and then you can kick into the payment plans or the subscription fee, whatever it is, how you're selling things for your business. The point here though is that Surecard gives you all the flexibility to sell things the way that you need to sell things for your business and there's no limitations on it. All the flexibility is there, just a few mouse clicks and you're all set. Surecart makes selling subscriptions and payment plans very easy.